Hey everybody. So the Q Computer Porta Cube system is currently at home for the weekend. I had to bring it home kind of unexpectedly because the power supply uh, would not start up for a while after a power outage and it was of course a failing capacitor on a final standby circuit of that best tech supply. So I got that repaired and this thing's back up and running. Didn't have to do any hacks or tricks to jump start it. Just plugged it in and started it right up. So since we got this home, we need to go and update this thing to 111.23H2. It currently has, let's see here, well, not control panel, we need settings. And let's look at systems and go to about. We are currently running 22H2, and it uh, does appear to have the newer um, update previews, which brought some 23H2 features to 22H2. But we definitely going to get this thing upgraded 23H2 since we have a home. Now, of course, the interesting thing about this system, unlike most of the computers you see here on this channel, this computer does meet the Microsoft Elite Class Mill Test requirements on Windows 11, so we don't have to use the hacks and the tricks to install feature updates on this. We can just do it the normal way. So that being said, we're going to use Windows Update to install 23H2. And 23H2 is simply an enablement package for systems that do meet the Elite Class System requirements. So let's go ahead and get this thing up to date on existing updates. So we've got the 2023-10 update for Windows 11 version 22H2. KB4023057 and we got a .NET framework update so we're going to install those both okay so we just complete those updates and it didn't require a restart and you can see it's saying Windows 11 version 23H2 is available so now we can go in and click on download and install and it's asking do you want to get the latest updates um, as soon as they're available so yeah we'll turn that on so the thing is, while we're doing this, I want to go and talk about a little something. So in a previous video, uh, I had a little discussion stating that since Microsoft will be releasing Windows 11 23H2 as an enablement package for 22H2, that there is a chance that computers not meeting the Elite Class System requirements will be able to update to Windows 11 23H2 without having to do any sort of hacks or anything like that. Well, of course... Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, of course, denies the update to computers that don't meet the Elite Class System requirements. So, on a system that does not meet the Windows 11 Minimum System requirements, you simply just will not get the notification that Windows 11 23H2 is available because Microsoft, in quote, states that they, as part of the Windows Update process, it will do a check of your system to see if it meets the requirements and as they call it if there are any issues that would arise from installing the update the update will not be presented to you so in simple words if your computer does not meet the Windows 11 Minimum System requirements you will not receive this update automatically you'll either have to manually install Windows 11 23H2 using one of I think a couple methods one method would be to download the ISO image using Rufus since of course it's not yet available via media creation tool. The other option I think is there is a way you can force this enablement package on computers not meeting the Elite Class System requirements provided you've already installed the pre prerequisite updates including I think that one we just installed. So you can see now it's um, ready to restart. So I'm going to click on restart now. And to be honest this is the way I really pref would prefer um, feature updates to simply be installed. And of course in Windows 10, in the earlier days of Windows 10, feature updates were massive. They were essentially upgrade installations of your operating system and four out of five times when I would install one, it would, something would break somewhere. It would break a setting somewhere and it just, it caused frustration and it caused issues. 
having it this way is much better. Now, of course, I think one is 10 1909 was, I think, one of the first one is 10 builds to be downloaded in a similar way. So you can see that it has installed, and now if we go into our settings here, you can see we are now running Windows 11 23H2 OS build number 22631.2428. Now, for example, before I wrap this up, let's switch over to the Plexi. So, of course, the Cupid Plexi does not meet the Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11. It has an AMD Phenom 2 6 core 1045T, which is well below the minimum requirements. This system doesn't even have UEFI firmware. It's traditional BIOS. Now, if we go into our settings here and we look at our specs, which were conveniently already pulled up, you can see Phenom 2 X6 1045T processor 2.7 gigahertz. Windows 11 Pro 22H2, 22621.2506. I think this is what you have to have in order to receive that name of the package. And of course, we go to Windows Update. Um, I think this might have been the update I was seeing earlier. Let's go ahead and install all these. You can see I've already got get the latest updates as soon as they have available option switched on. So we'll go ahead and let these install. So you can see that update just applied and now it says, oh, you're up to date. Whereas on the PortaCube system, it immediately um, provided us the opportunity to download and install the update to 23H2. So I'm gonna hit check for updates and let's just see what happens now, of course. Okay, we got no more updates. So Microsoft just quietly denies your system 23H2 when it doesn't meet the Elite Class System requirements. It would be nice, in my opinion, if there was maybe a notification over here somewhere saying that your system does not meet the minimum requirements or, or something like that. They just don't, they don't tell you anything. So, if you had Windows 11 installed by a shop and they um, installed Windows 11 despite your system not meeting the minimum requirements, your system would just quietly not get the update automatically. And that's kind of an issue. But anyways, that could be a subject for another video. But, of course, that's comparing the Windows 11 23H2 um, update installation behavior on a system that meets the Elite Class System requirements and a system that does not meet the Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.